In case you're not aware, it's a man's world out there. Men often shame women for infidelity or sleeping around. Women are called sluts and prostitutes by men for choosing to get down with a man. These same men are shamelessly sleeping around with multiple women, but they are called saints. Have you ever wondered how come the rules are different for men and women? Well, the first thing is cultural initiation. For many years, men have always had the upper hand while women were served with the lower ebbs of life. In many cultures, which is changing today, men could marry multiple wives while women could never try such. This cultural way of life was unconsciously initiated into many men and the result is their disgust for a woman with multiple or more than one sexual partner while the men on the other hand are praised for having multiple sexual partners. Patriarchy also makes men practice infidelity. This is a social system in which men hold primary power and predominate in the roles of political leadership moral authority, social privilege, and control of poverty. This is what informed the moral authority that many men try to impose on women. Most men believe they are above the moral law, especially when a woman is involved. Even in the Bible, a woman was caught in the very act and people were ready to stone her, but the man whom she was caught with was not to be punished. Thankfully, that woman was rescued by a man who had not been initiated into their patriarchal ideas. Many men are head and women always follow. Just like a monarchy where the words of the king is law, religion and culture have connived to call men heads while failing to make them realize that being a head actually implies that they hold a higher standard of living and behavior than they demand from those who should follow them. Also, age-long beliefs. For many generations till this day, it has been said that men are dogs or men are promiscuous by nature and the male gender has accepted it and continue to live by this narrative. This belief system stems from men who fail to control their sexual urges and appetite but constantly ask women to subdue theirs. Isn't this double standard? Well, I'll leave you to answer that. Most men publicly practice infidelity even to the praise of fellow men, while most women dare not practice it publicly for the fear of being shamed by these men. Infidelity is wrong for both the man and the woman. The woman must recognize her power and take it back from the man. If you have cheated or practiced infidelity, you have a right to demand forgiveness from him. But just like you have a right to accept his forgiveness if he was the one that cheated, he also reserves the right to not accept your forgiveness.